in today's thrift store challenge, we are talking all things interior design trends. So we are going to look at and dive into different interior design trends we should be expected to see here in 2024 and how we can get them for a whole lot less at our local thrift stores. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first interior design trend that I think will be popular in 2024 as it was popular in 2023 is organic modern. If these images appeal to you, some sourcing options of places you might want to shop at would be places like Crate and Barrel, CB2, The Lifestyle Co, and many more. And while these high-end retailers definitely make it easy, it's oftentimes really expensive. So I like to see what I can come up with at the thrift store first. So one of the key elements if you're decorating in an organic modern aesthetic is to make sure you're incorporating a lot of natural materials. So those are gonna be your things like jute, rattan, linen, wood, cork, iron and many many more so when I found this basket for just six dollars at the Goodwill while I was inspecting the basket I noticed that it almost looked like someone took scissors to the basket and cut a slit down the side so I just decided to simply add some adhesive so I did super glue gel on the outside to give it a more immediate hold and then I went on the inside using some e6000 and I just pushed the pieces back together and then had my husband just clamp down where I placed the adhesive the problem I have most often if you're trying to really decorate in that organic modern aesthetic is that a lot of times the baskets can pull a little bit to orange for that design style specifically. So one thing I like to do is just give it a once over with some taupe spray paint just to give it that more modern effect. If you love that organic modern design aesthetic, another material you should incorporate is linen. And you can do this in so many different capacities. So for example, I found these little kitchen towels that were just a dollar a piece. They are a linen blend, but they add such a nice warmth to my kitchen styling. I also found this linen pin board from Pottery Barn for just over $6. It's one of those ways that you can kind of incorporate that softness, that organicness to your space without breaking the budget. Another material you would want to incorporate is wood, of course, and the thrift store has so many different wood options available. So it's important with this specific material that you're focusing on the shape as well. As you can see, this mirror here is just very straight and streamlined, giving it that modern effect because not all mirrors or artwork or wood pieces will give you that same look from the thrift store. If you love this design aesthetic, another element that should be incorporated is a healthy dose of black accents in your space. So even if you don't find a black wire basket or black tapered candle holders or whatever it is, you can always just spray paint it. So for example, I found this basket at the Goodwill and I just decided it would be the best thing to do just to again, give it that more modern effect using a flat black spray paint and of course then sealing it. And then what I put inside the basket will then pull Pull it back over to that more organic side by filling it with birch logs and a wool blend blanket. Pieces like this can be incredibly versatile. You could add a top to it to make it a side table. You could add wheels to the bottom to make it a hamper, making a linen insert. Other ways you can incorporate those kind of black modern accents or high contrast pieces is through artwork. And you can usually seemingly find one or two pieces that will translate really well into a modern design aesthetic. Small accent pieces like this are great because you can incorporate them into a gallery wall setting because the orientation doesn't necessarily matter, but also too, they can stand alone and really pack a major design punch. Last but not least, if you love this design aesthetic, one thing that has to be incorporated is some statement greenery. So this could be in the form of a tree, or it could just be a really large scale vase with greenery popping out of it. I found these cedar stems at my local grocery store, and then I also just grabbed some branches outside. Again, adding that kind of organicness to this modern vase really ties the whole thing together. 
Moving along into our next interior design trend, I think will be very popular in 2024 is going to be called grandpa chic. So last year we saw a lot of influence from cottagecore and grand millennial styling where everything felt a bit more vintage and dainty and feminine. And I think this year we're going to see a lot more of a masculine take on a similar concept. Some sourcing options I would keep my eyes out for Zara Home, Pottery Barn, McGee and Co and many more. But the one I like to check first as always would be the thrift store because of the design styles we're going to talk about i think this grandpa chic will be the easiest one to kind of replicate using some thrifted items and that is simply because in this design style there's so many references to things that are nostalgic and feels collected right and if you're a person who appreciates having kind of more one-of-a-kind pieces and having things that are unique thrifting your vintage pieces and combining them to make something new can give you the most kind of authentic look so for example, I found this silver platter here for $6 and then I found this candle holder for $10. So the first thing I did was I just cleaned the pieces incredibly well and then just needed to simply connect them to make a silver side table. I think we're going to start seeing a lot more silver coming in 2024 than we have in previous years and I'm really excited for that transition, especially if you are into doing a more mixed metal look in your space. In order to give myself just a little bit more surface area to work with and add that adhesive on, I wanted to kind of fill this centerpiece here. So I just took some lids that I found in my recycling bin, filled that center there, added E6000. So then that way I would have so much more surface area to connect these two pieces together, just using E6000 here and letting it sit overnight. In addition to silver and nickel, other materials I would keep my eyes out for would be things like leather to really kind of lean into that masculinity of this grandpa chic design trend. Also, I would really pay attention to things that are plaid, quilts, things that are crocheted. All of those kind of materials combined together will really give that overall collected feeling that this design style really has. A design trend that I think was incredibly popular in 2023 and I think will only continue to be just as popular in 2024 is this old world European design aesthetic. So some sourcing options I've listed would definitely be Zara Home, Shop Amber Interiors, McGee & Co, Lulu in Georgia. All of those resources will really give you that kind of old world aesthetic that this design style really has because oftentimes these aren't actually stores you can go to, I like to just look online and see what they're using, how they're styling the pieces, and then apply those same things when I'm at the thrift store. So my rule of thumb is if it's on a credenza, a dresser, or a bookshelf, it only has to look good from one side. So turning these pieces around gives a more just kind of old world look versus that kind of like faux Tuscany olive garden kind of style that isn't really what is trending right now. So in order to make this larger scale vase a light, I simply just took a wine bottle and I placed this thrifted light shade on top, added a puck light, and I have a more old world European light fixture in my space. And for the smaller of the two vases, because I don't like two vases that are the same that are filled with florals, I think that's a little bit eye demanding. So I prefer to just fill one with some greenery. In this case, I used cedar, which is perfect for the holidays. And I think that this whole situation can come together so affordably, but it was because it was thrifted. Other materials to keep your eyes out for would be patinaed copper or patinaed brass. I would also look for wood pieces that have been really naturally weathered and aged because that's truly the key to this design style is things that are naturally aged. In terms of the textiles you would see with this design aesthetic, I would stick to things that almost look as if they could have been made from a beautiful Turkish rug. So you guys might remember when I found this rug on Facebook Marketplace and when I found this pillow at my local thrift shop, the Hartwell thrift shop, it was just $3. And I feel like it definitely gives my bedroom space that kind of old world aesthetic that I really love so much. And the last design style we're gonna talk about today is this movement I think that we'll see a lot of in 2024, which is coastal chic. And I think that if you are somebody who wants a more calming and relaxing experience in your space, this would be a really fun design style to incorporate more of. Some really great sourcing options would be, of course, Pottery Barn, Pure Salt Interiors, Serena and & Lily, and many more. 
So when you come across different decor items at the thrift store, you kind of just want to make sure that you're always getting back to that calming and serene place and things that you would naturally find in a coastal setting. So when it comes to the tonality of your wood materials and your woven materials, I would either stick to a more kind of ashen gray color, like the color of driftwood, or I would more stick to this more yellow toned wood tone. So for example, I found this cane woven tray here and it was just in that perfect wood tone for a coastal chic design aesthetic. So there was one small imperfection here. The center had kind of dipped a bit. So I just decided to repair it with some E6000 and super glue gel and then just let that dry overnight. Decor items like these are fantastic because you could simply just add legs to this tray and it could become a little bar cart or you could even put it on your wall for a decorative wall decor piece. Some colors that I think would be really prevalent in this coastal chic design style would of course be blue, but it's not this bright blue. It's more of these subdued blue tones that really will give that kind of high end and chic appearance. And that really wraps it up for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which find or interior design Design trend you were most excited to see and also let me know if there is a trend that we didn't talk about that we should make a part two to this series. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Bye for now.